good evening everybody so i wanted to give this positivity post to humanity and telling y'all let go and let god let me say it again for the people in the back <laughs> let go and let god um so let me tell you why i'm even saying that to y'all right now so i received a message this evening and just motivated me to even just say this to y'all and just let y'all know exactly what that means so a part of letting go and letting god is accepting truth for what it is understanding that you cannot control everything you are not always in control and that's okay because you let go and you let god see a lot of our emotions are rooted in ego something that many people don't even talk about we get ruled by our emotions whether if it's fear sadness whatever but a lot of that is in root of not controlling what you think should be controlled and that's why you need to let go let so god. one of the ways in getting comfortable with letting go and letting god is being able to see and discern truth no matter how hard it may be and seeing things for what it is so i, I got a message this evening from a, a beautiful soul who expressed like worry fear anxiety so one of the emotions that she was feeling was fear and the idea is that we're in the end times and she's so scared about when the end of the world is going to be but again i gotta repeat to you let go and let god the reason why you feel that fear is because you're trying to control some aspect of it you want to know the date that's a that's an aspect of you trying to gain some control over what is to be you just got to let go and let God. Another anxiety, worry, anger, guilt, those kinds of things. Those are things that are all rooted in ego. Rooted in the idea of what you could or you couldn't change. Rooted in the idea of what you could or could not control. And the thing is, is that you got to understand if you are a true person in Christ, that there's a higher power than you. And that higher power is in control. And once you know that, then you're like, okay all right i can step back a little bit it kind of eases the burden off of your shoulders when you're able to do that honestly and a lot of the times our emotions are created out of attachments attachments in a world that's guaranteed temporary you can't hold on to your loved ones forever child you can't hold on to this world forever child and once you realize that it becomes very freeing in fact because it's like you understand that there's more see if you don't think there's more then you hold on to what is temporary you hold on to this world because you don't really believe do you have faith because your faith would be fearless sometimes we got to really take on christ within our heart you know the word so much you know all it is so much then why don't you know christ did christ fear did christ speak a lie or did christ live in truth did christ live fearlessly did christ trust the most high and everything that he was doing and everything that he was moving that's what the thing we're not channeling christ we're channeling all these other gods here these saints these devils who create fear and all these emotions Th that's what's really important it's tapping into christ here can you become that fearlessness can you become that truth no matter how harsh it is you don't dibble around it you don't dash around it you accept it for what it is let me tell you something harsh truth this world is gonna end the human generation is gonna end and this is something that you've been told from the very beginning from the very beginning no matter how much we may cry after every death no matter how sad we may feel oh that person's no longer here with me that person i could have did this i could have did this different you couldn't have done nothing different because you're not in control that's what you got to realize and that's what i'm realizing in myself i don't trust me i say these things out of wisdom because i've experienced it so I'm trying to gain this inner standing instead of understanding. I need that inner standing, that Christ within me. And realizing who Christ was and just channeling him inside of me. You have to understand, sometimes we got to go through the fight. Sometimes we got to get a little scorched for that new body to come through. But coming attached to what is temporary is only leading you to more heartbreak, more heartache, more anxiety-ridden fears. But once you let go and let God for real, for real, I mean, have faith. What Sophia said, faith. <laughs> you need to have it. it. Makes you fearless. Faith makes you Christ within your heart. Think about the reasons why you're feel, feeling that way. Truly, think about it. Because for me, I always tie the reality into spiritual, right? So as a person that is very rooted in Christ, um, I'm going to give you my experience. What, what happened with me? 
So I lost my friend. And I've been broken for a long time, crying, feeling all this guilt, feeling all this anger, feeling all this worry. And I realized why I was feeling it. Because I couldn't change what I thought was wrong to happen. I couldn't fix it. And then I realized what I was doing. I was putting myself in a position that I'm not qualified for. Because I needed to let go and let God. These attachments that we carry on, this temporary is only that. Letting go and letting God is facing truth head on. Head on. Regardless of any emotions. Because yes, as humans, we do feel that. But we don't need it to overtake us. In this society, in this world stage, they want you ruled by your emotions. All that pride, false pride, ego. That's got us feeling these ways only because we're not letting go and letting God. End times is here. The world is going to end. A whole bunch of people about to die. But again, do you have faith? Because your faith tells you that this world is nothing to hold on to. This world is filled with the temporary, the, the loss, the, the sorrow, the, the anguish. You got to start seeing what this earth is really. What's going on really? Everything has a lifespan. Meaning everything dies. So why would you hold on to death and not clutch life in what is eternal? So end times, you should look at it with, with joy, with happiness, to get rid of the temporary and sift into what is eternal. I want to give you this analogy. Every time um, you feel sad about what's going on and you see what's going on in this world right now, I want you to think that this world is a family member and it's with a horrible boyfriend who just keeps beating her up, beating her up. You don't tell her to stay. You tell her to get out of there. You tell her to leave and let go, right? I want you to start thinking about that. You don't want to stay in this abusive relationship because that's what it is. Every day is suffering. I don't care how rich you are. Every day is suffering here in some degree or another. And they've made you believe this batter syndrome and that you need to get beat up in order to, in order to feel love. The powers that be in this world have gotten you comfortable. You just got to keep going through it. Keep going through it until you're dead. And you never let go or let God. So you continue the cycle of abuse. This world is nothing to hold on to. Every day is showing you more and more what's happening. Whether it's with humanity, what's going on with humanity, even in the animal kingdom. It's rooted in chaos and violence. You got to look at what it is. Earth, raining worms, earthquakes, tornadoes. You got to start looking for what it is. Every day is telling you, all right, you got to move on. That's why teaching your children about God is so important in these days. So important. Because let me tell you something, y'all can't control it. I know y'all all these human efforts, oh, we're going to fight the transgenders, we're going to fight this, they, they're trying to tear our kids. Your kids are going away. This human generation is going away, and that's what y'all not realizing. All these, these talking points, these world stage battles that they got you doing. Putting all your energy, all your oil into a machine that's artificial, that's temporary, that's getting blown up. That's why it's important to teach your children about God because God gives you the next step when everything around you is burning because then you could clutch on to what was living and not all these dead things dead car dead clothes dead street dead buildings dead house dead pride yeah I come off a little harsh but truth is harsh but truth is true and ain't nothing more absolute than truth ain't nothing more absolute no vodka sober mind what you talking about lego 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 you feel me? Like, that's what you got to do. Fear, worry, anxiety lets you go into these two wings of the same bird. Thinking you're going to battle. You're a chosen one to fight the invisible enemy. When you don't even know the invisible enemy is running you right now. Keeping you in fear and anxiety. I want you to think about everything that they made you believe is you. Your personality and everything. Oh, I like this TV show. I'm this. I'm that. I'm Democrat. I'm Republican. These are all man-made, made-up statues that they've made you believe. Let me tell y'all something. Before all of these man-made creations, you were. Because in order for the creation to come, the man-made creation to come, man had to be here first. You really got to take on that spirit of man because they call us human. And if you look up, and I don't add no extra letters. I like to look at things literal. I don't add the E. It says human, H-U. When you look up the root etymology of you, it means to seek to find to find man within you so that you can take on the spirit of man and understand just who you are in the scope of all of this